りないプレゼントの配り先のないあられなサンタクロース世界中が愛で満ちる夜にさよなら俺のサイレンラー Probably gonna do like a bunch of side quests today. Because apparently the this game isn't too long, but there's a bunch of side quests that I haven't even done yet, so I wanna do those before I start like progressing the main story. Also, I got him dripped out off um off stream. I'm wearing a red suit now. I'm looking like the Rizzler. All right, let's do a side quest. Hmm. Simple heavy lifting job. Joryu. Hey, Joryu, does the name Matsumura ring a bell? Yeah. Matsumura, no, not familiar. Well, he's one of Soten Buri's longtime Draka trades. Could say he's my senior in a way. Hmm, big cities have plenty of sleuths and odd jobs, man. Must be a good rep if he's on your radar. Any, absolutely. Anyhow, he asked me to take on a job. Jack of all trades, hiring another all, jack of all trades. Mm. Yeah, Matsumura handles everything himself, but everyone needs a helping hand eventually. Several decades, rising, uh, riding solo, he must really know his stuff. Uh huh. He's been, uh, heard he's been on his own since he was a kid. Was raised in an orphanage. Mm. Orphanage. Yep. Man, what's that called? Oh yeah, I think it was Sunflower. Oh no, dude, that was Kiryu's, that's Kiryu's orphanage. Then. Sunflower. Huh? Yeah, pretty sure that was it. Some place over in Kanto. No way, does she mean the place I grew up? Anyhow, he's looking for someone to do physical labor. Wants to rent him off me for a bit. Uh. Sure, I'll go. Really? Surprised you're so gung-ho about it. This Matsumura guy has piqued my interest. Where do I find him? You know the Wild Jackson in West Shokufucho? So Shofukucho? He said he'd brief you there. Uh. Got it, I'll stop by. He's like, wait a second. He's he just like me, for real, for real. I gotta go see him right now. Are you Matsumura-san? Akame sent me to help you. Oh. Yeah, hmm. You're just what I'd expect from our city's renowned Akame. Your drip is atrocious. She found me the exact type I was after. Here, have a seat. I'm Matsumura, as you already know. Call me Joryu. Nice to meet you, Joryu-san. Maybe you've heard, I'm an old hand in the business of odd jobs. Use my expertise in innumerable scenarios. Most recently, I've been consulting for the director of an orphanage. Cool. An orphanage, huh? Oh, wait, one second. Yeah, these days, places like that can hardly stay afloat. Their worries are truly endless. Uh. Heard you were raised in an orphanage. Oh. That's right, I lived at a place called Sunflower till out in middle school. How about uh, out in Kanto? How come? Yeah. Curiosity. What? <laughs> uh, Matsumura's name and face are both unfamiliar to me, given his age. Maybe he was at Sunflower before I was old enough to remember. Could also be lying, though. Can't see why he would. <laughs> huh, that place sure brings me back. The man who matted Sunflower was called Kazama. I've always looked up to the guy. Then. Kazama? Oh no, that's his dad! It's the Dragon of Dojima type. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking for this guy called the Dragon of Dojima. You look just like him. He knows Kazuma-san, then he's not lying. We really were raised at Sunflower together. To be honest with you, I never not every job I take actually pays off. Oh. But if it means I can pass on just a little of what the great man taught me, then I can't help but take on the job. <laughs> uh -huh. Or maybe just some just, just my ego talking. Yeah. Hey, I can relate to that. <laughs> really? Thanks. Almost feels like this isn't our first meeting. <laughs> Almost feels like you're some guy called hear you heh <laughs> you never know anyway why not give me a rundown on the job oh right now joryukun i don't mean to shock you but i want you to be the orphanage's new director <laughs> what <laughs> sorry to spring this on you so suddenly the place is called saignet saignet is director its director is getting on in the in years and doesn't have any family he's trying to get a new successor asap yeah. Fine, I get that, but why me? Well, Saignet regularly receives government assistance, but honestly, it's run by volunteers. 
I've vetted all sorts of folks, but in this day and age, it's hard to find someone who can take on that kind of responsibility. To be candid, I even threw my own hat in the ring, but the director wasn't uh, keen on it. He balked at the idea of putting his orphanage in the hands of a jack-of-all-trades. Signet? Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. I suppose my occupation's got a shady reputation. Yeah. Maybe, but I'm in the same boat. I can't help you. Sorry. Yeah? Hey, hey, don't make up your mind just yet. Sure, if the director doesn't like you, that's it. Mm. Even so, I... <laughs> he starts, like, managing this other orphanage after, after he got kicked out of his, like, own orphanage. But if he does happen to like you, I ask that you reconsider it. <laughs> Come on, it's not that serious. You'd basically be a figurehead, a director in name, and o in name only. Aww. I'd manage all the minutiae, like financial uh, finance finances and our overall operations. Your only job would be show up once in a while when you've got the time. Mm -hmm. Still, why go to all the trouble? Mm -hmm. Well, I could decide it's not my problem, and I guess that'd be the end of it. But I've got a personal stake in this place. Can't brush it off like it's, an it's none of my business. Mm -hmm. He seems like you're a genuine bleeding heart deep down. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. And soon there's going to be so many bleeding hearts in that orphanage. I, I mean, uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway, my ta my priority is to appoint the next director and help Signet uh, get back on its feet. Otherwise, those kids will be out in the streets, and I can't let that happen. Yeah. Got noble intentions, but I don't have a legitimate name to offer you. Yeah. Technically, there's ways around that. Assuming you're willing and on board. Sure, it may be an, a little unorthodox, but I've picked up on some tricks of the trade that you'll have us uh, squared up on paper. Uh. All right. I was raised in an orphanage. I can relate to wanting to make a difference. How oh, interesting. Thank you, Joryu-kun. That gave me just enough info to figure out that you're the dragon of Dojima. Mm. <laughs> hey, so where does this physical labor part factor in? Oh. oh, yeah, about that. I promised to hand over some supplies for the orphanage today. The director is coming out of so uh, out to Sotenburi, so we agreed to uh, meet at Ashatiba Ashtaba Park. Could I trouble you to carry them for me? Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> of course. Didn't you grow up in a small or uh, orphanage? Working with uh, working with kids is all about stamina. Eh, true enough. If you can lift this box, that means you're the dragon of Dojima. Finally, I've got you, Kiryu. <laughs> now die! I'll kill you. That's probably how this quest is going to end up. I've been looking for this guy who grew up in the same orphanage and has the same build as you do, and it looks exactly like you. And I'm going to sick some Yakuza thugs on him to find out if he's really the dragon of Dojima. Oh, oh Matsumuno-san. Hello, Takumi. I see, I see you showed up as well. You bet I did. I wouldn't miss out a chance to see you, Matsumuno-san. Ha ha ha. But you can see me anytime. Brought you a uh, present today. There's clothes and candy inside. <laughs> Whoa, thanks a ton. Thank you for your continued generosity. Yeah? Come on, it's barely anything. All of it was practically free at the bazaar. You're the one who was kind enough to come all the way to Sotenburi. Nonsense. We can't have you making the trek every time. Oh, and who's this? Oh. This is Joryu-kun. I want to introduce you to. Nice to meet you. I'm Joryu. Hello there. Oh. On that note, Director, how would you feel about passing your title to Joryu-kun? <laughs> Nani? Hmm. What'd you say? Huh? No way, you can't just make some rando appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> the director. And also, look at his drip. It's fucking atrocious. <sighs> Takumi, listen. The director's getting old. Joryu kun's still in his prime, and he's still he shows plenty of promise. Dude, Kiryu has been in his prime for like his whole life. When is he never gonna be in his prime? He's like sixty or fifty years old. <sighs> I know it's sudden, but if you get along with that uh if you could get along eventually, wouldn't that be enough? <laughs> That's all it takes. You should become the director. Mm. Well, it seems the director's not too keen on that idea. How come, director? Matsumuno-san's always been good to us. I have my reasons. Just broken. I don't like him. <sighs> ain't, ain't it your own stubbornness that landed Signet into this mess in the first place? Yeah. That me, that's going too far. Mm. It's true, though. Matsumuno-san, do you mind if I head home and think it over? Oh. Of course not. In that case, let's say goodbye for now. Thank you again for these supplies. So it's just vibes based. He just picks a director on like vibes. The kid's name was Takumi, right? Sounds like he really wanted to, you to take over as director. <sighs> well, he was middle. He was in middle school when we first met. We see each other whenever I visited the kids. I guess he got attached to me. Happy he feels that way, but <sighs> director himself isn't on board. Haha, <laughs> exactly. Plus, I re recently started my own company. Fair to say, I might not be able to dev devote enough attention to the role. Mm -hmm. Something unrelated to your freelance work, right? At an office. Handling various tasks. 
related to oh at an office handling various tasks related to real estate oh it's still small but takumi's actually planning to start there too oh yeah mm. takumi well you'll find he's pretty closed off around others apparently that's why he couldn't stay with the last company that hired him ended up back at signet <sighs> Plus, it, it isn't easy to find new employment, and society is pretty tough on folks who grew up institutionalized. Mm. So you decided to take him on board. Seem the type of guy director uh, could trust. <laughs> Do me a favor and tell him that, Joryu kun Anyway, that's all for today. Could I trouble you to help me out again sometime? Uh. Sure. Hmm. Not only does he donate his supplies to the kids and, he, and pays them visits, he even helps them find jobs. He mentioned he's always looked up to Kazuma san. Real inspiration, that cosmos. Real inspirational, that Cosma. Mm. Akame, what's up? Hey, Joryu, all done with that job? Uh. Yeah, is Matsumuno-san with you? Yeah. He already left, I'm alone. I see, good timing. What were your thoughts on him, Joryu? Mm. My thoughts? I think he's a solid guy. Seems he's desperately trying to support a place that's called Signet Orphanage. That desperation ain't born of good intentions. Oh my god, I knew it. He's evil, bro. Wait, what? I didn't see what that just said. What do you mean? Well, I just got this weird feeling. Figured he, maybe he's uh, work got me paranoid, but couldn't help but doing a little digging on Matsumura-san. Sure enough, I found about his dark side. The true Matsumura-san is a loan shark that specializes in refinancing. He approaches folks with loads of debt, trying to seize the facility. Okay, that's probably what it said. He approaches folks with loads of debt, sweet talks them, and with promises to make it all go away, and then seizes their assets, land, buildings, and everything. Like I said, a loan shark. Good. Hold on, Matsumura-san, he said he wants me to become the director of Signet. He said he'd work to uh, support me. Interesting. Sounds like he wants to put you in the spotlight while he works to liquidate things behind your back. Nani. It can't be. That place is in trouble. Guarantee ya is after it. Let him, letting him prey on it, uh, on him would be a damn tragedy. Once he's done bleeding all their assets, they wouldn't have a single hair left to pick their teeth. And you're sure about this? Think I'd be saying all this if I weren't? I want you to hear it for yourself, though. There's a homeless guy under Bishamon Bridge, one of his victims. Go go find him and hear him what he has to say uh. on it. Oh, man. This guy really was a, a thug. That's Muda said he looked up to Kazuma-san. Was that all a lie? Whatever the truth is, I've got to get to the bottom of this. He's going to be like... It's going to go like... Oh, no, I'm just doing it because, like, I feel bad for the chi the children... And I'm actually like the coolest guy. I'm actually not evil, guys. Trust me. What do you want? I don't... You happen to know a guy named Matsumura? Matsumura, effing Matsumura, mother. Mm. So you do know him. That bastard's the whole damn reason I landed in this mess. Spun me off some fairy tale about he'd cancel all my debts, then he made off with everything I had. Mm. Can you tell me more? Just think about it. Uh, think just think about it makes my blood boil. Wormed his way into my life when I was at my wit's end after our orphanage had fallen into debt. Then Your orphanage? What? <laughs> Let me handle it, he said. He promised I could sell it for a bundle. But that slimeball planned to rip our off our land right from the start. Matsumura's a devil in disguise. Mm. And you were left homeless. Hey, me, you ought to worry about. Story ain't over yet. Then. What do you mean? Matsumura hired the kids who had nowhere to go at his company. Said he'd look after them. Oh. Really made it seem like he was trying to help them out. But now I hear he won't even let them ha let them leave the office. He works them like a cart house. Then. Seriously? My precious kids. Worse yet, they say he's got close ties to the Yakuza. Oh no! My luck ran out this, the day he set, his, he set his sights on me. Too late for me. I'm to blame for letting him mani manipulate me with his forked tongue. But hey, buddy. Don't you... I uh, don't know who you are, but if it's in your power, all I can ask is that you save those kids. Ugh. I will. And you should reach out to Akame. Better than staying out here like this. Ask the other homeless around here. They'll tell you where to go. Explain what happened. They won't ignore you. Akame. Yeah, I've heard of her. Thank Thanks, buddy. Oh. This homeless guy's a real bad guy? Yeah. <laughs> it turns out he was actually evil the whole time. And he's he wasn't the coolest guy. That's why he got homeless. I'm just, like, trying to figure out a way, like, they'll, like, spin this so that, like... This Matsumura guy is going to be, like, good in the end. <laughs> How'd it go, Joryu? <sighs> Heard the guy's story. Said he used to run an orphanage till Matsumura robbed him of everything he'd owned. I see. Apparently, he's, he's also fond of approaching other, older people without family so he can make off with their assets. I've gotten sloppy. All this wickedness going on behind my back? 
Why didn't this all come to light earlier? Folks who use loan sharks are guilty of wanting to make a little profit too. But uh, bet he's been using that as leverage to make his victims feel like they owe him. The company's actually really nice too. Yep. <laughs> Not to mention the people who won't tattle on you will uh, make for excellent pawns. Sounds like Matsumoto's company uh, employs kids from the orphanage he destroyed. There's a boy named Takumi living at Signet who really idolizes him. I bet the other kids feel the same. You mean... Uh. Yeah, that's probably why Matsumoto targets orphanages as a convenient source of workers. <clears throat> Akame, I need you to tell me, if I, uh, tell me where to find Matsumoto's office. Give me a minute. Here we go. It's an office uh, called Matsumoto Industries in the Ni Nishikubo Sunrise Building in South Shofukucho. Seems to be connected to real estate. Maybe he's using it uh, to manage all the properties he sees. The mastermind, huh? Getting over, right? Do me a solid and smash him into orbit. Uh. Deal. You said you did say job called for physical labor. With on-site housing in a rec room, yeah, and it's like the most like uh, there's so many amenities and <laughs> actually like the most based uh, um, boss like he lets you take like paid vacations and stuff. He's like, I'm gonna make all these children indebted to me by giving them a good job with like a 401k and with health benefits, and <laughs> then they'll never leave. Now that I've treated them cr uh, as a proper worker, self-sustainable living commune. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, got it, rookie. The only answers I want to hear from you are yes, sir, and understood. Before long, you'll be one of us. Until then, we're gonna learn you real good. Hey, how's it going? Hey, lay off Takami. Huh? Who the fuck? You can't just come barging in here. I'll fucking kill you. Tell me something. Is roughing up your employees just business as usual around here? <laughs> yeah, you got a problem? Getting the shit beaten out of you is the fastest way to learn. We play by our own rules. Uh, Ain't one of us, asshole, so butt out. Okay. Oh, I should probably heal. Time to go insane mode. Making pizza rolls, nice. <laughs> yeah, they grow their own food. Yeah, it's like a the ideal communist society, and it's like the most utopian thing. Turned on his demo mode for real, for real. Yep. Boy. You all right? <sighs> hey, you're that guy that was with Matsumoto-san before, joyu san right? Mm. Guessing he hired you. What happened here? Mm. It was my fault. I kept making dumb mistakes and giving him shitty answers. Yeah. It's not something that warrants violence. Just don't, please don't tell Matsumura san. Yeah. Why are you a member of Team Flare? This is just uh, some new drip that I got. I don't want to cause him trouble. Mm -hmm. Why are you so loyal to him? Because mm -hmm. he's been so good to me. I ain't got no parents, but he treats me like a son. <sighs> of course I'd look up to him. Looks like my prediction was right. Matsumura wins over orphans just like he, uh, just to use them like pawns. <sighs> Talk to me. Can you tell me where Matsumura is? Yeah. Why? What are you gonna do? You know what's funny is like, this is pretty much what happened to Kiryu. Like, Kazuma recruited Kiryu from the orphanage to join the Yakuza, and uh, now he looks up to he looks up to Kazuma, and he still does to this day. Yeah. I won't cause any trouble for you. Matsumoto sounds like a father to me. <sighs> if you're planning to hurt him, you'll have to get through me first. All right, I guess I'll beat you up. Back when I was 20, sir, I wouldn't have hesitated to give my life for Kazuma-san. But someone once told me that sort of thing was just brainwashing. Uh. I see. How about you stay here and rest a bit? Or head for the hospital, alright? Do you, son. Alright. I'm waiting to hear his, this guy's backstory. How he's like, oh, I've actually grew up in an orphanage. And, um, you know, I wanted to uh, give all the people the place to stay. He's reflecting, yeah. It's like usually like a lot of the times like in Yakuza side stories, it's like the guy's obviously evil until he starts telling his backstory and then it's like, oh no, he's actually like a really cool guy. <laughs> that's like a lot of the times that's the way Yakuza side stories go. Can't believe that that type of heinous shit's going down in Nosaka right under my nose. This is all my fault. Yeah. Don't need to show there's so much blame. More importantly though, do you know where Matsumura is? He wasn't at his office. 
Wait a second. Got it. It looks like it's at Ashitaba, Ashitaba Park. Uh, On my way. Time to beat these guys up to blow off some steam. Air combo this guy. Oh, sorry, you got caught up in it. <laughs> I didn't even think he was gonna get caught up <laughs> in this in this uh, heat move. Oh my God, guy, like freaking thugs are spawning left and right here. Yeah. Yoriko has an honest determination that's hard to find nowadays. Sure, the kids will be hesitant at first, but soon they'll grow to love him as a director. Ugh. With him in the role, uh, Signet could be able, would be able to stand against his financial pressures. Uh, so that's guy. That's why this guy didn't want him to as the director, because he already figured out his vibes. Yeah. He'll need support, of course, but that's where my expertise comes in. There's nothing to worry about. Mm. Yoriko and I can get Signet back on his feet. On its feet. What do you think? Any downsides to my proposal? I guess not. Oh. Exactly right. In that case, Boy. wait. Oh. Hello, Joryu Kuno. I was just about to contact you. <sighs> about what? <laughs> the director's finally come to a decision. He wants you to take over Signet. Oh. This is your first time running an institution, right? I understand any concerns. But please, just relax. I'll take care of all the tough stuff like operations and finances. Uh. Makes sense. Makes it easier to snatch the deeds to the land and buildings, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? What's this yeah. now? Joryu Kuno, what are you on about all of a sudden. You know that's not true. All I know is that's your specialty, Mitchell, Mr. Lone Shark. Lone Shark? Uh. Akame's tip-off lead uh, led, uh, led me to one of your victims, another orphanage director, apparently. You offered to help him settle his debts, then took everything he owned, leaving him destitute. Still hates your guts. What are you saying? Yeah. No, no, you're completely mistaken. Also, it's true that I were also work as a debt adjuster, but that type of work tends to be rocky in practice. Mm. Of course, I did everything could, I could for that man, but he still ended up losing his property. Oh. Just can't believe he would blame me for everything. <sighs> for argument's sake, let's say I accept your excuse. What about Takumi? Takumi? I dropped by your office. They were beating on Takumi when I got there. Takumi, why would he be? Mm. The kid even believed it was all his fault. Word he was, he'd cause you trouble. Oh. Well, well, that must be it. He must have made some sort of mistake. That's why they beat him up. That's why it's justified. It's no wonder why you only hire kids from institutions. Boy. Uh -huh. Time to fess up, Matsumura. You approach Signet because as a loan shark, you had your eye on the buildings and land. Plus, you want to acquire more pawns. Pawns, what do you mean? <laughs> nice detective work, Joryu-kun. Oh. Yes, the cat's out of the bag. Children know nothing of the world. Put on a good show for them, and it's not long till they're wrapped around your finger. Oh. If I make use of clueless pawns, I can extend my reach and collect even more. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty clever, right? What are you... So, was your backstory of growing up at, at the Sunflower pure bullshit, too? Yeah. That part was true, in fact. That's the original inspiration for this plan. Then... What? Don't you remember what I said about that Cosma guy who ran Sunflower? He was actually a Yakuza. A very clever man. <laughs> As a founder of an orphanage, he played on people's sympathies, but from the shadows, he created an army of obedient puppets who were willing to die for him. Wow. He folded immediately. <laughs> yeah. With any, <laughs> with a small amount of pushing, he just like, oh, you got me. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll just tell you my whole backstory. <sighs> if I'd remained at Sunflower, the same thing would have happened to me. I ran as soon as I wisened up. Is this, this what you meant by following Kazuma's footsteps? Mm -hmm. Don't you get it? Mm -hmm. Everything he did, everything I've done, what's the difference? <laughs> Taking advantage of the weak, creating an army of willing slaves? Heh <laughs> he was a great teacher. Uh? You bastard! Mm -hmm. I don't understand why you're, so, why you're so upset, but that's enough chit-chat. Oh, wow, well, look at that. Mm. If you're gonna blame someone, Jory, you just blame yourself for meddling. If you hadn't stuck your nose to my business, you wouldn't have to die. Okay. At least we didn't get his, like, tragic backstory on how, why he was the coolest guy. Guys. 
I'm, okay, also that somehow this guy knows how to fight like that. <laughs> I know how to do this. Fucking bullshit. Alright, I'm gonna break your arms. Oh, oh shit. Damn you, Kun. I apologize. Look, man, I'm sorry. He's doing his super dogeza right now. So oh, come on, won't you forgive me? Don't try to worm your way out of this. Gotta listen, I didn't do this because I wanted to. I'm a victim too. My parents, Kazuma-san, murdered them. Yeah? I was so clueless, but one day I stumbled on the truth, and I pressed Kazuma for answers, and he told him, told him he was a hypocrite. He said nothing. So I escaped the orphanage, but I never stopped hating him. Be raised by that man that murdered my real my real parents. Who can accept that? I'm not the villain here. It's all Cosmo's fault. Uh, I'm certain Cosmo knew better than anyone what a hypocrite he was. Uh, but there was nothing false or hypocritical about the love he poured into those kids. That is something I knew better than anyone. Uh huh? Uh, Even you must have felt his, his sincerity. If you're that clueless, then you should watch what you say about Shintaro Cosma. He said his sad backstory was post fight. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm on it. By the way, on the topic of Matsumoto's employees. Where are you sign? Can I ask uh, you to tell them they're welcome at Signet? Huh? Those children need some peace of mind. If anything, we do have plenty of empty rooms. And that's why he destroys orphanages. Yep. Summon <laughs> it. Director, thank you. It's really us who ought to be thanking you. I ever heard his proposal. I actually think it's a great idea. They still got a whole heap of problems, but I'll help them out as much as I can. Uh. Thanks, I'm counting on that. See ya. Guess no matter whose footsteps you choose to follow, the journey is what you make of it. Wow. Uh. Cosmos thought you see me now? I wonder what he'd say. Well, at least he wasn't really the coolest guy. He was just a guy that was really bad. He was the uncoolest guy. どうかしたか。え?ああ、別に何でも。そうか。それより上流、これから暇またステイル行こうや。この前楽しかったし。Sure. Now I have to go on a date. I want to do side quests. Anta no fu wa shigoto daijoubu na no ka? Chan to owarase te kara nonderu n desu. できる女で<笑> お力になれて何よりだ。ただ、その割には浮かない顔をしてるな。え、そう。そんなことないやろ。うん。<笑> 
Sometimes it's good to let it out. あんたの立場の難しさは分かってるつもりだ。そんな時は木の裏の出番じゃねえか。上流は案外お人よしやね。気になることを放っておけねえってだけさ。それがお人よしって言うんやって。おきにな。上流が心配しすぎるからなんかハードル上がってるけどほんまに大したことないんやそうなのか前に上流聞いたやろ赤目ネットワークなんか作って何がしたいんかってああうちなほんまは歌手になりたかったんや歌手にああ確かにあんた
金ピカの大阪城になるはずやったんやうんどっかで見たことないまさかキャッスルのあのシーンそのまさかおっちゃんの作ってたホテルがいつの間にか船の上に鎮座しとった<笑>ほんま人をバカにすんのもええかげにせえって思うわうちの夢の舞台になるはずやったもんまあそれがケチのつき始めでだんだんうちの歌手としての人気も落ち始めて逆にネットワークの方はどんどん大きくなっていったそんでいつの間にか歌手の夢はどっかに行ってしもた<笑>まあうちにはこっちが転職やったってことやねあ奥さん夢を抱いてた時もあったっちゅうお話でした笑,笑わんといてようん Say you grown up 大人になったんだなそういうことあ奥さん夢からはもう卒業したんや今のうちは赤目ネットワークのボスやならその顔はここでだけにしておけ部下に見せちゃ式に関わるうんそんな情けない顔してるああそう見えるな<笑> yeah, you look so pitiful. はあまだ大人になれてへんのかもねうち。なりゆきもあったとはいえ、赤目ネットワークは、今のあんたにとって大切なもんだってことはわかる。なら、欲張っちまえばいいんじゃねえか。欲張る仲間も守るし、夢も追う。あんたくらいできる女なら、できないことじゃないだろう。上流<笑>これまでの苦労も知らんで、勝って言うてくれるわ。<笑>他人の特権だ。でも、お気にね。やっぱり、上流と話してると、少しだけやけど、気が晴れるわ。そりゃ、何よりだ。本当に少しやけどね。<笑>手厳しいな。<笑>ちょっと湿っぽくなってもうだからな。気を取り直して飲み直すでお手柔らかにな。Oh, I can challenge her to pocket circuit? Oh no. Well, that's where our, our relationship ends. I'm sorry, but if you're better than me in pocket circuit, I can't be friends with you. I'm the strongest convenience store clerk. Let's see what this is.、Hmm? Strongest convenience store clerk.、Mm. According to my sources, I hear that's a clerk and at a popo in Shokufucho. That's who's a real powerhouse. If rumors are true, might be worth recruiting him, don't you think? Yeah, a convenience store clerk shouldn't be hard to find either. I'll go check it out. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> so you're taking your ho- the, uh, you're really taking the whole to the whole talent scout thing, Joryu. Good luck out there, champ. Better go to popo. Alright, l this convenience store person is gonna be like a secret Yakuza, and he's gonna be like, um. He's actually like a mean guy, but, you know, he has a heart of gold, and, um. He is the coolest guy. So, this is where the strongest convenience store clerk is, huh? Alright. I've come to recruit you. Welcome. This guy looks beat. It's probably not him, but I'll ask just to be sure. Um, do you need something? Yeah, are you the strongest convenience store clerk? I've been looking for some. I'm looking for the world's strongest convenience store clerk. Oh no, you mean I'm world famous now? Huh? So it really is you. Yeah, I think you're talking about me. My name is Tobashira. Okay, Tobashira san, I'll get right to the point. I've heard how tough you are and I'd like you to join my team. I appreciate the offer, but I can't. Not with my part time job. Fine with just your days off. No, I'm telling you, I can't. I've got shifts from here to eternity. What do you mean? 
Gobashira! The hell's all that racket? Timmy! Gobashira, you're, if you're so full of energy, that means you can come in for work this Saturday and Sunday. But sir, I've been working day and night shifts. It's been and it's been over 20 days straight. What? <laughs> Hang on, did you refuse my offer because this guy is already working you to death? Huh. Yes, that's right. <sighs> so you're the manager. Listen, I'm no lawyer, but isn't it illegal to make someone work that many days in a row? Illegal? <sighs> Japan's a capitalist country, pal. Can't chain down a man who wants to work. Even Marx said that. What the hell? <laughs> Marx? <laughs> Look, either way, Tobashita san doesn't want doesn't seem to want to the work you're giving him. What, Tobashita? How are you really feeling about this? Um, well... See? You heard the guy. Everything's well and good. Oh, woo, that's the stuff. Sheesh! Tobashita, I'm feeling extra generous now, so I'm gonna make it rain for you. Let's give you even more shifts, and then some more, and then some bonus shifts on top of that. That's... Oh my god, what the hell's going on? Huh? That's enough! Don't give me any more shifts for the love of god! Sir, I'm begging you, please just give me a normal schedule. Hmm. Who do you think is in charge here, Tobashita? It's, it's like I always tell you, you want to negotiate your shifts, you better come prepared to fight. And <laughs> you think those noodle arms of yours are going to charge my change my mind, huh? Yeah. Sir, I'm not, I'm not the little pushover I used to be. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? Every single night I'm doing manual labor restocking drinks in the fridges. Then early next mor morning, when the regulars from the construction show up, I'm honing my reflexes. And powers of perception by grabbing them smokes in the blink of an eye. Over and over and over, every little thing I do in this job has made me stronger than you can possibly imagine. That's how you got your nickname. As you can see, if you want me free with a sword, we'll have to take down the <laughs> we'll have to take down the manager. Uh. Say no more. His behavior is tyrannical. No matter how you slice it, try to teach him a lesson. At least he's at least he's read uh, some marks though. Ha! Huh, come at me. Once I'll give you a thrashing, you'll be working graveyard shifts for the next hundred years. This is how like. I think this is how, like, jobs should be. Like, if you disagree with your manager, just beat the shit out of him. Alright, brother. Wreck be destroyed. Well, let's see if we can microwave him up here. Let's see. Move out of the way, bro. You're gonna kill him. Aw, oh, I can't microwave him. I can't. He's not getting up. Ugh, you got me. Take one day off a week. Hell, take two. Whichever you want. Alright, we won. I beat my manager. <laughs> yeah, you're a free man. Now you're clear, you're clear to join my team, right? What's wrong? I learned something today. Freedom is something you take with your own two fists. So, if you want me to listen to a word you say, <laughs> you have to take me down too. <laughs> oh god. Seriously? If you won't come at me, then I'll bring the fight to you. <laughs> My first choice as a free man. Oh, okay. Well. Time to fuck you up, brother. What the? Oh my god, this guy's insane. Oh my god, he won't let me grab him. Aw, oh, dude. He's, like, grab-resistant. Jeez. I can't see. around this freaking store like a <laughs> there you go <laughs> insane uh, uh, you beat me can I ask you your name it's Joryu mm. Joryu-san, starting today you'll be my new manager. 
<laughs> okay, we recruited him to our team. Cool. Sure. Well, it'd be a shame not to put that strength of yours to good use. You're welcome to fight by my side. Hi. Count me in. Schedule me for any shift you like. I got he's, he's the strongest convenience store clerk on my side. Team will be in good shape if I keep this up. Wow. No money. Gosh, I really should buy some like healing. Oh, she doesn't like it that I trashed the store. Just eat these Yakiniku bento sets. Not earning money from beating up a minimum wage employee. Yep. <laughs> Come on, he could he could he should have had a little bit of cash on him. He's been working like twenty four hours straight. Now I recruited him. I conscripted him into my uh into my uh Coliseum group. Oh, Jory, I've been waiting on you. Um, end of the destruction. One million yen? Holy shit. <clears throat> hey, Jory, are you free right now? Got a minute to spare? Something tells me this is going to take a lot more than a minute. Always quick on the uptake, Jory. Love that about you. As I'm sure you've already guessed, I've got a request for you. All right, let's hear it. You're the best. So have you heard about those homeless hunts you've been going on uh, that been that have been going on recently? Mm. Homeless hunts. Every day they're been they're doing more damage than the last. Every day they're doing more damage than the last. Now they're starting to hit people in the network too. First, so first I want you to find out who's been uh, who's behind them, and then I want you to put the screws uh, put the screws to them hard. That's terrible. Now that I know that's happening, I can't just sit around doing nothing. I'm on it. Figured you might say something like that. Appreciate you, Joryu. Mm. Do we have any clues about the corp uh, culprit? Mm. As of now, zilch. But I did hear one thing that caught my ear. Mm. Which was... Anna? Right around the same time the homeless hunts have, uh, started up, a guy nobody'd seen before was talking to a bunch of homeless people down in town. Hmm, an outsider then. Yeah, Gotta be, and the guy's supposed to be built. Like, ridiculously built. Gorilla built. Mm. Gorilla built? Anna? We just landed another gorilla sighting today. Someone spotted him around a construction site in Shofukucho. Uh. Construction site in sh uh, Shofukucho. Got it. Might not just come to see anything, but it's all we got to go on. I'll head there and see what I can find. You're the best, Joryu. Alright. Am, am I gonna recruit this guy, too? Another uh, minimum wage employee about to beat the shit out of? Wait a second. This guy's from Judgment. Hang on, who's that? Oh, what? Dude, he's from he's from Judgment. Man, are you Kansai Felix hot-headed or what? I'm just asking a couple of questions. Good. Built like a gorilla. The Aquaman network never fails, huh? Hang on. The game that they're never going to make anymore because of the... The oh. Japanese talent company refusing to let his talent be online. <laughs> Let's see here. Yep, there's no mistaking you. Been waiting on you. Been waiting. It's you, ain't it? Mm. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> no, no sense playing dumb, buddy. There's no mistaking you, <laughs> you gorilla man. Uh? What? Who are you calling? Mm. Hold on. You sure you got your facts straight? Yeah, gorillas ain't smooth talkers, pal. You ain't getting out of this one. <laughs> That's so cool. I like this little callback here. Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. Oh, time to go sicko mode. Kaito. Also, this shirt, I love his shirt. Ooh boy. Stronger than I thought you'd be. Boy. Explain yourself. What the hell have you been talking about this whole time? Uh? Why don't you explain yourself? How long are you going to get played dumb, you big gorilla bastard? Have you looked in a mirror li lately? Hardly, hardy freaking hard. Now, how about you tell me about what's... 
tell me what's so goddamn fun about homeless hunts, huh? Then. What do you think? What, you think I'm behind the homeless hunts? Uh. There you go with the dumb act again. Fess up, you're the piece of shit who've been getting punks to attack the homeless people around here, ain't you? Yeah. Not sure how you arrived at that conclusion, but you got it mixed up. I'm looking for the person behind the homeless hunts. Nani? You what now? <laughs> oh, wow, look at this guy. Same guy. Kaito. Oh. Oh, yo, Higashi. Don't run ahead and leave me behind, will ya? I don't know that. I don't know Sotan Booty that well. Ah, uh, my bad. My bad, man. But hey, gang's all here now. All well, all's well that ends well. Am I right? Hold so fast. I don't even know if you heard everything the client had to say. I get you're excited to finally have a case, but maybe wrangle in this excitement, you know? Yeah. I already told you that it wasn't it, you goon. I just felt, I just felt for the client so damn much I couldn't just stand around. So our misunderstandings cleared up then? Eh, we'll see. Ah, oh, come on, Aniki. Hey, sorry for the trouble. Looks like my Aniki here caused some trouble and uh, caused some confusion. Who are you two? We're detectives from Kamurocho. Kamurocho? And who's asking? I'm Will. I'm a jack of all trades. Jack of all trades? That mean you're Akame? So you know Akame. Scoping out your destination exactly what tech, uh, detectives do, pal. Well, one thing led to another and I happen to be doing some work for Akame right now. Akame is a friend to the homeless. She would never have anything to do with the homeless hunts. Gotcha. Seems to be the story, ain't it? Uh, Come on, Aniki. Let's head back. Oh. Yeah, yeah. See you around. No, dude. Let's hang out, bro. What would detectives from Kamurocho be doing all the way here in Sotipuri? That better let Akame know. One and only Akame-san speaking. Uh. Found your gorilla. Hot damn. Speedy work. So what's his deal? Apparently he's a detective from Kamurocho. He said he was looking for whoever's behind the homeless hunts too. Mm. And for whatever reason, he thought it was me. The hell? <sighs> That's what I said. Huh, guess we're still a little short on intel then, ain't we? Looks like there's an homeless guy in West Shofukucho who survived one of these attacks by the skin of his teeth. Head over there and see what he has to say, will ya? Uh. Got it, I'm on the way. What a guy. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, like, I'm... I think this, yeah, Lost Judgment came after, came before this game, which I haven't played. So I don't really know that much, but I played Judgment. And, uh, yeah, I, they're probably never going to feature the main character again in any Yakuza game. I know. Excuse me, do you have a minute? Uh, were you the one attacked in the homeless hunts? Oh, are you again? I'm, <laughs> they came to the same place. Well, 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 look who it is. Mm. Oh, you're those Kamurocho detectives. Kaito, and here's this here's Higashi. Uh, what are you doing here? Can't imagine it's a coincidence. Nah, we're chasing the same rabbit as you. We work, you work for Akame, the jack of all trades, ain't that right? Uh, I'm just helping you. I'm just helping out for the time being. Call me Joryu. Joryu san, it is. Oh. All right, bud. Uh, go ahead and leave this one to me. How about you go and give, go on and give our client an interim report? Aniki, I don't know how many times I have to tell you, but the, <laughs> I don't know how many times I have to tell you this, but I'm not a detective or an investigator. Come on, don't say that. You're getting paid like a detective, ain't you? Mm. All right, fine, I suppose. Just please keep your wits about you, all right? Good. Said we're chasing the same rabbit, so we're both after whoever's behind the homeless hunts then. Oh. So, I'm here on a case looking for the ringleader, mm. but why detectives from Kamurocho? Got a contract in the neighborhood, and who knows, we might be we might want to branch out at some point in the future. Oh. I came out myself to get the lay of the land. Lay of the land, huh? Doesn't explain how you landed a job so quickly. Hey, when I get the lay of the land, I lay hard, pal. <laughs> that's how hard, that's how detective rolls. Besides, we're always on the clock. Damn, he lays hard. They say you should live somewhere for a week before you move there, right? Mm. Sure, that makes sense. Still, surprised you found someone kind enough to give a, uh, an out-of-towner a job. Ooh. So thin booty's a big place. Sure as hell enough detective work to go around. I barely put my feelers out, and a case just fell right into my lap. The ask was to find who's behind the homeless hunts. Uh. I see, but I'm still wondering one thing. Uh -huh. What's that? Mm. Akame's name has an awful lot of weight behind it in Sotin Buddy. Who on earth would ignore that and kick the case to a uh, kick the case to a nameless detective instead? Yeah. How the hell would I know? Wouldn't you think they had some reason they didn't want to ask Akame? Hmm? You too, uh Want something, or... <laughs> They've just been talking this whole time in front of this guy. Oh, sorry. I was wondering if you could tell me what happened to you. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, too, so... How about I listen in? Do what you like. I hear you had a run-in with the homeless hunt recently. Could you go over what happened in more detail? 
Oh, that's what you want to know. Happened a few nights ago, but a bunch of us homeless folk got together and, uh, to sleep in a bunch of a uh, big old huddle. Then sometime in the night, I had to get up to take a leak, got up, went to the public uh, bathroom in the park nearby, did my deed. By the time I got back, everybody had been worked over real bad. Whole damn thing happened in the space of 10 minutes. Heard later that everyone got, uh, everyone there got beat to hell with bats or something or other. One of the guys had little money. His wallet got rifled through and all his cash had been taken, or er, was stolen. You're telling me, what are we supposed to do? What happened to the people that were attacked? Carted away in an ambulance right there and then. Might be the silver lining of the whole damn thing. At least it got a few nights in a warm bed. I suppose. Did you see who did it? Well, it all happened so fast. Even the ones who were attacked said they couldn't make out anybody. Anyone see a big burly guy like a gorilla? Gorilla, didn't hear anything about that, but if you're just talking about strength. Oh ho, got a clue for us? Listen, I've been uh, around the block a time or two, and I'll tell you something. You two are the most grill-ass motherfuckers i ever seen. <laughs> er, I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> Anywho, I got no idea what you're looking for, but all I know, all, uh, all I know is I want him, uh, I want him to pay. I wish I could have helped you out more. Uh. You've done plenty. Don't worry about it. You sleeping outside tonight? Where else? If you ever need a hand, lean on Akame. She'll always have your back. Akame, huh? Feels like I heard that name before. All right, then. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks to you. My thanks to you. Yeah. Actually, if you're really in a jam, you gotta call the cops. They're way more reliable. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Kiryu's like... <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> oh, uh, sure. Yeah, I'd buy that. Well, uh, goodbye now. <laughs> He's like, what the hell what? you just say? Why'd you have to cut in like that? I thought we could cleared up your misunderstanding. Oh. Hell did I say wrong? Don't you think calling the cops is a better first move than running to Akme for help? Someone he ain't ever met, even met? Uh, <laughs> well look, we didn't hear much, we didn't hear much useful anyhow. Looks like we scheduled, we schlepped our asses here for nothing. What? <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. Uh, oh yeah? If that many homeless people were sent to the hospital in a matter of minutes, that means whoever did it had numbers too. And if they had bats, it, uh, if they had bats, a group like that's going to draw attention. Even at night, somebody might have seen them. Boy. Were you not thinking the same thing? Oh. Heh, <laughs> underestimated you, pal. Might be more cut out for detective work than I thought. So what next? Gonna uh, go go pound the pavement, talk to people, see what you can find out. Uh. Yeah, I'll try looking for witnesses. Well, shit. Let me come with you. Mm. Not particularly fond of working people I barely know. Well, listen. We're both looking for the same person, but our payouts coming from different clients. So we can split the work down the middle, but still get paid the same amount each. Uh -huh. Now me, I got the gumshoe gift of getting info out of people. And you? Seems like you know this Tamad's uh, site better than me. So tell me again, why shouldn't we work together? Yeah. Work together, huh? Seems like he really wants to keep it. Uh, seems like what he really wants is to keep an eye on me. Dude, of course I'm going to join forces. Are you kidding me? Uh -huh. All right, let's see what you uh, what a detective can do then. Oh, awful sharp of you, my friend. Well, I'd say our investigation is off officially underway. We to, where to first? We should start at the spot where we know the homeless hunters were. Sounds good. No objections here. Hell yeah. I bet this is like probably like a like a teaser of like what the next judgment game is going to be. Is just like Kaito is going to be the main character with like Higashi as his like little sidekick. Since they can't, like, actually use the main actor anymore. that I feel like that would work out. Hello. Can we ask you a few questions? Uh, what do you want? Some people were attacked around here a few nights ago. I was hoping you could tell me anything about, uh, you know about it. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. I'm only ever here during the day. I head out at night. World's a vicious damn place, I tell you. Uh. Be careful out there. If you need anything, ask Akame. Any homeless around, people around uh, should know her. And call the cops. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, you could hit up my detective agency. You ever find yourself in a jam? Come talk to us and tell your friends too. Boy. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? You don't even have an office out here yet. <laughs> hey, you were the one uh, who started advertising. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, you two. I'll uh, keep both those options in mind. Oh. Cool. Next stop. Who's up? Mm. That's, there's a convenience store uh, close to where the attack happened. The clerk might have seen something.
I really wish I could get Kaito's shirt. Also, is it like Kaito like a little bit shorter than Kiryu? I couldn't tell, but like it seems like by the camera angles, it seems like he's like a little bit shorter. Hi, welcome. All right, fess up. You did it, right? You did it. Sorry to bother you. Mind if we ask a few questions? Sure, what about? Mm -hmm. Heard about the homeless hunts around here lately? Yeah, seems like there's been a good amount of them. There was one uh, right near here a few nights ago. I'd like to talk to anyone who was working here the night uh, it happened. Ah, then I'm the guy you're looking for. I've been working the last few nights. Uh, remember anything? Hmm, uh, do I remember anything? <laughs> Gotta tell you, I'm pretty out of it when it gets real late. I don't remember anything about what you're asking. Mm. Nothing, huh? Ooh. Listen, kid, we'll take whatever you got. Anything at all. Dig real deep. Reach way back in there. <laughs> whatever you gotta do, uh, any help, any little bit will help. Anything unusual? Anything out of the ordinary? Weird looking customers come coming by, maybe? Weird looking customers. You know, now that you mention it, there was somebody. Ooh. Oh yeah? What about him? Well, it was sometime in the middle of the night. Two or three guys came in, looked like real punks. Rough ass, hoodlum type, uh, dudes. Then what? Then I looked out the window and saw ten more dudes just like them, hanging, all hanging outside. Mm. They have bats, uh, stuff like that. Ah, uh, no idea. Just hoped they. Uh, I just knew. I hoped they wouldn't come in. I don't. Are there any huge built guys like gorillas? Gorillas? Mm. What? No, no, no. Uh, nothing. Gorillas though. Nah, I didn't see anyone like that with them. Anything else you remember? Which way they went, maybe? Sorry, I don't know. No problem, kid. Thanks for the help, and sorry to be uh, bother you at work. Ooh. Let's roll. Didn't get too much of a lead, but this guy's persistence did get us some eyewitness info. Uh -huh. What's up, man? I did just beat up a minimum wage employee here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Uh, just started to get the feeling you might be really, you might really be a detective. Uh. Still had your doubts, did you? What detective dresses like that? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I mean, Kiryu, like, you should look at yourself. I'm looking like the Rizzler over here. Uh -huh. Can I ask you something? Why is Akme looking into the homeless hans? Uh. Didn't I tell you earlier? Uh, Akme's info network is what is what it is because the homeless cooperate with her. So at the end of the day, it's because looking into it, it is her is in her best interest. <sighs> Awfully cynical outlook. The person who hired me was family to one of the homeless hunts victims. Oh. Victim ended up in the hospital and they called his family, w wound up uh, reuniting him after years and years. That was, a per that was a pearl in that turd of a situation. Family doesn't want the same thing to happen to anyone else. They're genuine about it. And for that to happen, we got to find the ringleader of the homeless hunts. But that's why they didn't ask Akame either. What does that mean? Yeah. Uh, look, don't worry about it. So, so let's keep asking around, yeah? Ooh, get some drama. Maybe they just need to kiss and uh, become friends. Can we talk to you for a second? Huh? What do you want? You know about the homeless hunt that happened a few nights ago? Well, you know something about it? Dude, are you a cop? Do I look like one? <laughs> yeah. Point taken. But still, if anyone found out, I talked. Ooh. Hey, buddy, don't worry about that. Detectives have this thing called duty of confid confidentiality. No matter what we see or hear, nothing can be said to another person that might result in a disadvantage or drawback to you. What? Dude, you're a detective? Ooh. Sure am. The duty of confidentiality is defined in Article 10 of the Detective's Code. Wow. Wow. He said the same thing as me. Well then, I guess it. I guess it's fine. You can't just tell anyone you heard it from me, okay? I got a buddy that says Yoneya, Yon, Yoneya, Yoneya san from Gehenna mustered those guys. Mm -hmm. Gehenna, gang of punks that used to be uh, headquartered around here. Yoneya san was either the top guy or second in command. Does he muster him often? Nah, Gehenna was pretty active back in the day, but the cops cracked down on 
on him or some shit, and they uh, disbanded. Why well, was it was so crazy to hear Yonia's name again after so long? My buddy used to run with them. He told me the must the muster was for the homeless hunt. Mm -hmm. Is he sure about that? I mean, why would he lie about it? I told him he couldn't go at the last minute, so he got out of it. What's Yonia like? Dude's like obsessed with fighting. Pretty sure he used to be a muscle from some gang back in the day. Don't even remember the name. He was built. Mm -hmm. Built like a gorilla? Like a... Bro, what? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Could get off. He could give off that impression. Man, I bet he fucking murdered you if you said that to his face. Ooh. Well, hey, thanks for the help. Sure, sure, but I'm serious. Don't tell anyone I told you this, okay? Uh. We won't. It's a promise. <sighs> well, what do you make of that? Say we believe him. Uh. Don't have anything else to go on. Might as well try. Ooh. Agreed, but listen. What the hell are we supposed to do? Where the hell are we supposed to find Yonia? Let's ask Akame. Ooh. Yeah, huh. That'll be a surefire. Where are you, baby? Any developments? Uh. Yeah, does the name Gehenna sound familiar? Bunch of thugs that used to wave their dicks around so thin booty, right? Yonia and Kanashiro ran it. About half their guys ran off him, ran off on them, so they disbanded. Uh. Well, it looks like Yonia rallied the troops for the homeless hunt. He what? That asshole just barely limboed his way out of the charges, so why the fuck ain't he behaving? Can you point me to where Yonia and the others are? Oh, that'd be at the snack bar, New Momoko. The Gehenna guys came in and took the place. Might made it to their made it their hideout. Got it, I'll try going there. Looks like their hideout is a snack bar called New Momoko. Oh. Damn, nice work. Didn't think you'd get to answer so quick. <laughs> Not to mention, she told you the exact spot where those ex-gang punks are hanging out. Almost makes you think she's in on the whole thing. Then, what was that? Yeah. Just thinking out loud, buddy. Come on, let's get moving. <laughs> Damn. He's about to like go in there, raid that base. Raid our base. Destroy our operations. Hey, private party, you two get lost on uh, on the way to the retirement home? Turn yourselves in and fuck off out of here. Uh. Yeah, business uh, business with Yonia. Uh? Oh, uh? Yeah, yeah, you do? Yeah, fucking right. We got some nerve, dickhead. Oh. Hang on, I'm the one you're asking for. But I don't know either of you from fuck all. What business you got with me? Uh. Just wanted to say thank you. Seems like you've been taking care of our homeless lately. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so. Our homeless? What? A, who, whose are they, dipshit? Assuming you've heard the name Akame. Oh. Bit your ass, so you're the one working for Akame lately, huh? Hey, everybody, off your asses. We gotta roll the red carpet out for our guests. Thought you were gonna play dumb, but you just came right out. You just came right out with it. <laughs> came here to find us, but we've been waiting for here. Uh, we've been waiting here for you. Then. Waiting for us? <sighs> huh? Just drop the axe, will ya? Mm. What? Jorgisan. I'm looking at these guys, and I think you could take them on in your own. Then. Huh? This ain't gonna need the both of us, is it? Do whatever you want. Probably wouldn't have gotten a, a turn anyway. Listen to you, so fucking cool. We'll tell. Let me tell you right now. It's too late to fucking apologize. It's too late. Erect kid. Yeah. 
Motherfuckers! He said he was waiting for us. What does that mean? Good. Still have a question for you. Ooh. Finally, I can take over from here. Think you can make demands now after just sitting on your ass and watching? There you son. Isn't your goal to stop the homeless hunts? Yeah, so? Well, you're all done then, ain't you? Uh, Me, on the other hand, my clients wants to meet this clan, so you won't mind if I take him, right? Yeah. I still have something to ask him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. You sure you sure that's all? <sighs> You've been trying to find out what I'm really up to this whole time, but there's nothing else, and I have no patience for the runaround. Oh, okay. I guess I'll beat him up. But if you're gonna keep stirring the pot, maybe you should try in a little more force. Ooh. Now, you know what? That suits me way better. <laughs> this guy's gonna freaking run away. Okay, buddy, let's see what you got. I literally just beat you up, bro. Oh my god, he has like an insane health bar. He has so much health, holy shit. All this coffee. Break his guard. God, he's like just doing the same move over and over and it's working.
There we go. Damn, he was tough. He was holding back the first time we fought. <laughs> Good shit, huh? Feeling is not mutual. Uh, shit, bad timing. Will you shut the fuck up already? Just answer it. I wouldn't take advantage while you're distracted. Listen, Higashi, this ain't a good time. Wait, why you? Uh, what? What the hell are you talking about? Cut the shit, man. Hang on a sec. He's got nothing to do with this. Alright, alright. I got it. Sorry to put a damper on things. What was that about? Wasn't that your guy, Higashi? Can I ask you something? What's stopping you? You've done nothing but ask me self-important questions. It's no different than you asking for Yonia. Look, I feel bad, alright? This is the last thing I promise. Please, I'm asking you. You and Akame ain't in cahoots with Yonia over there, are you? What? I'm hearing that. I'm hearing talk that Akame is the one that's making the homeless hunts happen. She's, she's using these chumps to do it. Mm. You think this whole rash of homeless hunts is a ruse we're putting on? Look, for Akame, the homeless also represent a possible leaky faucet for her organization's info. Not too hard to imagine that she'd need to take care of people who weren't in it, abusive to her anymore. Yeah. That's absurd. Well, maybe so. Is it your client who told you that? Oh. Yeah. And you just ate that story right up? Some detective. Mm. What can I say? I'm a sucker for a sob story. <laughs> the client, they brought along this homeless person they, that was one, a victim to one of the hunts. He talked about how self-serving Akame was. <clears throat> said that no matter how hard you tried, once she, she didn't have a use for you, she threw you away like yesterday's trash. Now that I think about it, I was being worked. Huh. The homeless hunts are an, an Akame charade. And handing over the ringleader of the homeless hunt is going to help bury the real truth. That's what I was told. The client begged me with tears in their eyes, so what the hell else did I do? Sorry, I doubt it. I'm sorry to you. I doubted you this whole damn time. Hoping you, uh, hoping you could find it in you to look past being me, a, uh, being a dumbass. I mean it. I mean it. I'm real sorry. Uh. I'm just relieved the misunderstandings finally cleared up. So the call just now was from the client. Ooh. Right, turns out my client actually used to roll with the Gehenna. That tracks. They named Higashi and took him hostage. And he said, if I want him back, I gotta off ya. Straight to the point, huh? Thought you are gonna give me the runaround again. Thinking, think things didn't go according to plan for them, so now they're panicking. So your clients got their sights on me now. Looks that way. So what do we do? Well, I'll say fighting with you ain't bad. Gets me pretty hyped up. But I'll be honest, I don't want to fight you over shit like this. Got duped, and that's on me, and Higashi too, for that matter. And fighting you on some bu on some bullshit order, that ain't gonna happen. I've already shown my ass enough. Yeah. But won't that put Higashi in more danger? Ooh. I'm gonna go to the clients and talk about it. Uh, talk it out. Get on my knees and and beg if I have to. At the very least, I'll get ha Higashi released. It's not gonna be that easy, is it? Ooh. Nope. And I figure that if they beat me half to death, they'll be satisfied. Sorry for the trouble, buddy. Damn. What's up, Joryu? Uh. Can you do me a favor? I'd like to know the whereabouts of a man named Kaito. Uh, Kamuroto Detective. Of course you know him. Give me a sec. He had a pretty noticeable getup, so tracking him shouldn't be any trouble. And got him. Sending his location to you now. Appreciate it. Talk to you later. Hmm. This grill is a real handful. Well, gotta go save my new best friend. Oh, he's like right down the street. <laughs> like, yeah, I need to give you. I need you to give me his location. He's like right down the street. <laughs> I couldn't have just walked. I, I couldn't have just like looked at where he was walking. Um. Where? Oh. Is that? No. Hmm. Oh. I guess it's here. Oh yeah, it is here.
take me in his place? Fuck you, pal. Huh? Guess you couldn't deal with Akuma's bodyguard either, huh, dipshit? <clears throat> Ugh. Little uh. fucker. If it wasn't for him, we could have gotten to Akame a long fucking time ago. He's the only reason that bitch is still breathing. That's your goal all along? Yeah, bitch your ass. Hanna has a big fucking score to scout, settle with Akame. The whole reason we got raided is because Akame tipped off the cops. Mm. Pushed us to the brink of collapse. Been a long time since then. And we were finally going to be able to settle up with Akame and some, acle, the, some asshole hunkers down with him. This dickhead knows what he's doing too. Him being here fucked up my whole plan to smoke out Akame. Now we gotta take care of him before we deal with her. Had a good thing going. Bet a Kamurocha detected the story and got him on the trail. It was all going fine until you ran into him. Fucking Yagami Detective Agency, your dumbass didn't do a damn thing. Oh. Well, shucks, mighty sorry, but we can't offer you a refund. Look at the pair on you. We were gonna let you off at the beating, but I think I've had a change of heart. Huh? Put your ass in the ground, motherfucker. Okay. Good. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Look, are you? Someone who, who heard your whole story just now. Sounds like you've got some real resentment towards Akame. Lots of yapping for such a big dog. The fuck? <laughs> the hell are you doing here? This ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> Couldn't pass up the thought of seeing you in a tough spot. <laughs> oh. Aniki! You okay, Higashi? I'm all good. Not even a scratch. I think you ate all the hits that were meant for me, Aniki. Yeah. <laughs> was nothing. That's what you always say. You're always taking the heat for me. Always with a smirk on your face like it's no big deal. Come on, buddy. This ain't the right time. Quit buzzing around, will ya? Give me the creeps. Boy. Well, what do you want to do? Maybe you ought to help. let him help you out if you're in a bad way. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't kidding earlier. Clips like these could wail me all day and I wouldn't even notice. Enjoy yourselves, boys. Don't let these bitches get out of here alive. Alright, time to... with the homies. Oh yes! Combo heat attacks. Jeez. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, I'm almost dead. Look at this music. Yo, Joru, how'd it go? Uh. All over and done with. Looks like the person they were really after was you. Me? Well, shit. Sorry. I'm sorry, Joru, for getting yeah, uh, into all this. I mean, mm. yeah, it doesn't really matter now. Gotta go. I'll tell you the details later. Got it. Thanks, Joru. <sighs> Didn't think I'd see you here. Mm -hmm. No? Well, I said a bunch of shitty things to you, didn't I? I mean, I was a trick to get you riled up, but still. Plus, I mistook you for the guy at first, remember? Thought the gorilla was you. Uh. I remember, but it's no big deal. Though I was surprised to be called a gorilla by a gorilla. Mm. <laughs> Lighten up. Sima. Look, we owe you some serious thanks. Saved us. <sighs> Sorry I held you up again, Anarchy. Yeah. Don't go worrying about that. It's on me and my, uh, excitability. 
We're heading back to Kamurocho, Joryu-san. Gonna put our Soten Buddy expansion on hold for a bit. Uh. That's so. What was the name of your agency again? Ooh. The Yagami Detective Agency. We look forward to your business. Yeah. I think I'll be all right. Of course you will. Take care of yourself, Joryu-san. That's cool. I like that there's like a little callback quest. Kaito from the Yagami Detective Agency in Kamurocho. Huh. He's one tough ape. Oh, now he's in my, uh, he's in my little army. Cool. 